everybody. It is Brooke. I am back and today we are watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 4 episode 11. Uh, it looks like we're about to pick up right where we left off. Uh, very close to where we left off at least. This is like exactly the scene we cut away from at the end of the last episode. Um, if you would like to watch my uncut reaction to this episode as well as get early access to the next two episodes of Angel, which I I think are coming next in the Buffy verse list. I'd have to double check. Um, you could do so by heading to Patreon. It's linked in the description. Uh, over there we've got early access, we've got uncuts, we've got a bonus show chosen by patrons. Um, and I'm always thinking of a way I could add like a third tier with maybe some extra stuff, but I haven't decided yet. Right now, I just really appreciate everyone on the list you're seeing on the screen and everyone who helps out, but you can also support the channel for free by liking each video, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Uh, we're still working our way up there. Uh, if we've live streamed by now, that means we hit 500. If we haven't, we're still working our way to 500, so make sure that you subscribe. Um, if you want to stay up with what other people in the community are doing, we have a Discord that's also in the description, and you can go there and kind of talk with other fans of the show. We have sections where you can talk about the show that I don't see, like I won't get alerted to it, so that I don't get spoiled. Uh, I do just want to give a big thank you to everyone who watches these and how kind you've been not to spoil stuff. Like, um... Even when I get stuff wrong, it's like, don't tell her because it'll be, like, surprise when she finds out that she's wrong. Um, and everyone who just stays really kind in the comments to me and each other. I think disagreements and criticisms about shows are totally valid, but when people make it personal and call each other names or, like, I don't know, just get really mean about it, I'm like, we don't need that here. Like, <laughs> go be mean somewhere else. <laughs> we want, like, chill convos. It's a TV show. There's no reason to hate each other over it, you know? Uh, but I really enjoyed last episode. It was a really cool idea of these monsters that steal your voice, um, so that no one can hear you scream, which is terrifying, but a really cool episode where, like, for the majority of the episode, no one could talk, so we kind of saw different ways they learned to communicate, uh, and then Buffy and Parker ran into each other fighting the monsters, uh, they worked together and were able to get everyone's voices back, but now we see they have to talk about it. Uh, it ended with them having to talk about it. We don't know what Parker knows about, like, the Slayer. We know he knows about demons and vampires, but, like, he didn't- he's never mentioned a Slayer or them being on the lookout for one, so I don't know if their organization doesn't know the Slayer exists. Um, and then Buffy obviously- has been looking for these, like, military guys, but I don't think she'd ever considered it was someone she actually knew. Uh, and it's interesting, because, right, they do have it in common that they kind of hunt vampires and stuff, but Buffy definitely was chosen by more of, like, whatever this higher power is, uh, versus, like, he was obviously recruited. Obviously, Buffy knows that not all demons and vampires are evil, like, there is still humanity left in them. And it's very clear that Parker's uh, organization does not think that way for the way that they treat them, you know? Uh, so I'm interested to kind of see. I feel like maybe they'll start by working together and then she'll see how bad it is and that'll kind of turn her against them. I don't really know. Uh, but I'm excited to find out. All right. It is time. I've got my ponytail to play with if I get stressed. Um, I watched the new episode of Survivor last night. I don't know if you guys are watching Survivor. It was season two of episode uh, ooh, 46. And I was stressed. <laughs> so I'm like ready for the next show to stress me out. Okay. Now let's go. We're diving in. Oh god, I'm scared. Awkward. Somebody should speak before one of us graduates. What are you? Okay. Capricorn on the cusp of Aquarius, you? I 
friend. And Acting like she's a monster? It's just... You're amazing. Your speed, your strength. How so That's passionate, true. artistic, and inquisitive. You're part of some military monster squad that captures demons, vampires, probably have some official sounding euphemisms for them. How am I doing so far? A little too well. Meanwhile, yeah, by I day, know shit. you tend to be Riley Finn, corn fed Iowa boy. Tim, I'm not the only one who's been a little less than honest here. Okay, I never had to tell you that I have super kick ass strength. <laughs> I thought a professional demon chaser like yourself would have figured it out by now. Slayer. Chosen one. She's like, how you know about vampires, but you don't she know about hangs me? She out a lot in cemeteries. And you fight demons. Well, there's, you know. I mean, you wailed on the Yeah. Guys. You did pretty well yourself. Yeah, but I'm a walking bruise today. Looking hard enough. I'm looking pretty hard. Oh, she has like a scratch from that one time. Right? I just... Yeah, I don't think he'll handle her ex-vampire boyfriend well. I really well. thought that you were a nice, normal guy. I am a nice, normal guy. Maybe by this town standards, but I'm not grading on a curve. Trauma. I guess if you really shipped these people, this would be sad, but I'm gonna be real. I have doubted their, like, longevity since the beginning. <laughs> I don't think I need to tell you. I don't say a word. Earthquake in Sunnydale? Never that simple. Wow. Also, because Amy so right. felt it coming before it happened, makes me think magic. Some YouTube watchers, they added Riley to bloody. the opening. Is he sticking so, around? The quake just knocked a couple of pipes loose. You earn your keep, or you don't get kept. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Let him free? When you're done fixing that leak, try cleaning up this mess <laughs> and doing a little laundry you for once. You can't hurt continue. him. <laughs> um, a couple of broken knickknacks, but no biggies. Well, quarter dorm is completely blacked out. So naturally, they're dealing with the crisis the only way they know how. You should ask Riley to come. Much carousing by flattering candlelight. Awkward. Uh, Riley's, um, busy. Wrong? No. Mm -mm. Not at all. Nah, I'm disagreeing with Buffy right now. Willow deserves to know because they almost fucking killed her that one time. Uh, when Spike escaped and they were going after him and they were gonna, like, eliminate her for being a fucking witness or whatever. Uh, she deserves to know. Buffy, I'm disagreeing with you here. She's oh, not going to tell a him? Good reason. The last time we had an earthquake, I died. Yes, I know. That is fair. She probably has some trauma. Therefore, I completely understand your anxiety. Do you theories about our mysterious commando friends? Oh. Oh my god, Buffy, just tell them. We've really? known Riley for yes. like three months. Now, based on the locations of our various sightings, if the quake heralded some such catastrophe, I'm sure there will be other signs to follow which will afford us plenty of time to avert it. What if there's no. not? I believe the commando installation is either very close to or directly underneath your school. Now, what's a slayer? Slayer? Thrash band. Anvil heavy guitar rock with delusions. No, of idiots. No. Girl. Powers. Oh, wait a sec. Am I first in somebody's bubble here? Maybe this is a bad They think the Slayer doesn't exist? Bro, we got two ones in a coma. <laughs> that ain't mean. I mean, you kidnap someone and they fight back, that's on you. Never mind. <coughs> like I said. <coughs> Maybe don't kidnap them. What's up, racket? I mean, ballistic parties are fun. Hi. Hey, Willow. I was that the guy from Stop. high school who I, I she used to. I thought you got that football scholarship to USC. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Glory goes here. She looks really familiar. How's Oz? Oh, oh. actually, Oz. Uh... Cool to see you. Bye. Okay, yeah. bitch. I like how they have no power, but there's definitely lights back there. Ooh, somebody escaped! Well, you know, when you keep demons in the bottom of a frat house, shit's gonna go down. What? Rosenberg? Yeah, right. She's just some egghead who tutored me a little in high school. I mean, she's nice, but come on. Captain of the nerd squad. Well, I don't know. Okay, Maybe rude. Willow better not get hurt. I will be pissed off.
Oh my god! Spike, what is it? What happened? Don't look at me. Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck? And I want my more. man was no. not born to wear that. You're not a guest. <laughs> you want me to tear this place apart, you bloody poof? That's it. I am way past through with you. And as much as I always got a big laugh watching Buffy kick your shiny white bum, and as much as I know I can give you a little bum kicking myself right now. Well, I still doubt that a bit. A bit. A bit. <laughs> You're not even worth it. Barely even Buffy. a villain. Over here. Wow. What happened? I found him. This guy on the bed with me. Dead. Not. Me dead, he did. God, are you okay? Symbol. And Percy said I was a nerd. Percy called you a nerd? Yeah, that's way more serious than the murder. <laughs> Report to Giles, get with the demon tracking. You don't got game, son. What's going on in there? There's a yours? demon murder and you guys I'm are playing basketball? Making my mind about something. One of ours? Negative. Civilian at the Porter Hall party. HST attack? Can I confirm that? I couldn't get close without drawing attention to myself. Uh, I think he's trying to protect totally Buffy, too, to be like, I gotta make sure she's not there. Let's not make a move until we get the whole story. It just made me feel like I was right back in high school. Oh, and, and something else. He, the dead guy, was, was propped up. Like, whatever killed him wanted to drain the blood out of him. Or he's well, still a nerd, but nerd's not up. bad, Willow. Right. Maybe um, in the 90s. It was carved into his chest. Big creepy eye. I just can't remember where. I mean, it's, it's like the end of the world. Buffy would do so good on Again? the challenge. It's um the earthquake. That symbol is. Um... We we've done this. Well, already. those like things in Angel were like something worse is coming. Important, really. So what do we do? I said demon. Just shoot Riley on accident. <laughs> I'm gonna take that and I want this one. Door was open. Bro, she's kicking your ass. Ow! Ah! Wow. Bro, that you don't just like walk up on did. someone. Where did it go? It's gone. I saw it take off toward the woods. Base one, this is Lilac one? Lilac? Like your Confirm code name is Lilac. That's going be cool. <laughs> Mobilize patrol team for debriefing at 0800 hours. Looking for you. She who hangs out in cemeteries. Oh my god, he actually listened when you spoke. <laughs> well, I have to get the demon. I can't. Can't talk? Can't any of it. I can't be with you. It's a huge black pit of a mistake. Okay, there's too much risk. Yeah, if I date there's people who aren't much... already dead, they tend to die. It's just doomed. Or people around and them. And I can't do doomed again right now. Sorry. I don't understand where this is coming from. I'm I can feel my skin humming. A little confused as well. But at the same time, I get where she's coming from. She wants someone not involved in the life. Anybody before. I don't know what's happened in your past. I dated a vampire. Hey. Death. I bet that's all she'd have to Apocalypse. say. None of it fun. We do not have that much in common. This is a job to you. It's not just a job. It's an adventure. Great. But for me... It's her life. You can change things. Riley, no. no. She's the no, slayer. It it's, she's always going to have to do the job. My answer is no. Capture and put in a cage. Ew. I don't know if I totally I agree with her logic, yes. but also like you Snook know, like I feel like. and good in moonlight. Father of portents. Meters tall, approximately 100, 100. Yeah, like they don't have like the Fish demon books and research to know Those the difference others. between them. Unknown. The bones of a child, though. Depends Less. on the demon. Something called the Word of Valios. It's. All part of a sacrifice, the sacrifice of three. We have to find that third one, the word of Valius. Keep him from getting it. If he doesn't already have it. It's going, but I've got to beat him where it's been. Residual traces showing up in populated areas. 
Things they have like the, if they had all of their info guys. together, Weapons they could packs. get them. Keep them. Will Xander, how about the book archives at the museum? We'll stop by my house in the way, get some weapons, and I'll change into something that isn't quite as uh, anchovy scented. Goodbye, Drew. See you in hell. Oh my god. He's so dramatic. What are you doing? Oh, I thought it went somewhere else. We've shared a lot here. You should have trusted me enough to do it for you. Xander. What? He wants to die? <laughs> I would have done it. <laughs> Hey, it's Uki. We know him. We can't just let him poof himself. I mean, am I even remotely scary anymore? No. Tell me the truth. We can't leave him here like this. We'll have to take him with us to the museum. Oh, you go on. I won't do anything. I feel better now. Promise. For Friendship. Apocalypse. Really? You're not just saying that? You're not just saying that? Buffy. It's really the time for Donkey Kong. What? Oh. She making a joke? It's moving all over town. You know, Buffy. Actually, I need to go. I gotta go hunt the demon. It's squished. Right, I'm on it too. It's just the you and me thing. I think it means no, it's I stupid mean, that you're stupid. not doing it. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't mean that. No, I think maybe I do. This. This doom and gloom mentality. Well, yeah, she died. You like that, and things are probably going to turn out just the way you expect. You know, there's nothing more dangerous than a psych grad student. Yeah. Fry cook, and so am I. Yes, but you're an amateur fry cook, and I come from a long line of fry cooks that don't live past 25. Which is exactly the attitude I'm talking about. And fun. Fun? Fun? The person I know that believes that is in a coma right now because she had so much fun on the job. I wish I could. But this isn't the well, kind yeah, you gotta think. Okay, Buffy died. Uh, she lost, like, her life from before she was a Slayer first. Then she died. Then a bunch of people she went to high school with died. Faith, uh, before Faith, that Slayer died. Faith, coma. I thought she was dead, but coma. Um... Even just coming to school, the first person she talked to and, like, outside of people she already knew died. Like, Buffy don't have the best track record. X is a vampire. Uh, she had to kill him at one point. Like, the girl doesn't have great feelings wrapped around with what she does, but she obviously can't stop doing it. A gig where you can just hang it up at the end of the night and snuggle with your honey. She's not alone. Through. She's a team. If you weren't so self-involved, you'd see that. Self-involved? You have no idea what you're talking about. I know that. It's I hope she don't get with you now. I'm sure that rude. there's some good-looking guy who done you wrong in there too. But mostly, I think you want to stay down in the dark place. We have an opportunity here. You, you want to die and then see if you still want to have fun? Too scared to even give it a try. It's my business. I get what they're trying to do with him, but like, he is way out of the line. He doesn't know what she's been through. Adjust. And yeah, walk. you can like go to and the like movies. The two of you. No, thank you. Here it goes. We can't just leave him here to stake himself. I just don't want pity from geeks more useless than I am. We're not useless. Well, that's we, magic. We help and people. Xander we we fight the forces there sometimes. of evil. Buffy fights the forces of evil. You're her group, and she's too much of a softy to cut you loose. See, you can still be mean. Mm, oh, talisman, not a book. As usual, dear. We have it? Oh no, we have it. Oh, we here. Oh, there's more than one. Are there three? Are they the three? Buffy! The word of Valios is the name of a talisman, not a book. This is bad. I lay myself entirely. I had, had it here. You had it here? They're on their way to perform the sacrifice now. On their way where? You found out what the ritual is for? The hell, Time to go back to Looks school. Like we're going back to high school. They rebuild the high school? Or is it just a blown up piece of land? They did not can't really blame them. It was not a happy place. It would be really cool, though, 
to work on a set design where you were taking the old high school set and you got to like turn it into this that would be like such a fun project like designing it and building it and painting it like i think that'd be so cool and by me hope we all go under why is he even here it's when we get to the library keep a lookout for victims that are keeping alive for the sacrifice Getting them out is the first priority. Do we know that the sacrifices are actually people? Okay. Let's rock and roll. Me? A spike is- they just made me in the thing to be mean to Xander. <laughs> Mayor meat. Extra crispy. Gross. Whoa. Check out the new floor plan. Hello. I think they're gonna sacrifice themselves. Spike, drink this. Right. Perfect. Spike's like, I don't wanna help. <laughs> oh, is he gonna find out he can hurt other demons, maybe? That guy just went in a hole. Okay, I guess I won. They are the sacrifice! Yeah, I figured that one out a while ago, guys. It's like they don't study film. <laughs> oh, he can hurt other demons. That's right. I'm back, and I'm a bloody animal. The Hawaiian shirt with that line. No, don't throw him in with the bones. Destroy the talisman thing? Can they just not do it at all? Yeah, I was just passing by. It's gonna recognize Spike. You were just passing by in your G.I. Joe outfit? No offense, but you do look wicked conspicuous. I know you. Me? No. Oh, I don't think so. No, sir. I'm just an old pal of Xander's here. Xander's. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> balls. Not a poster that's just different kind of sports balls. What is he? A Come in. Wanna be gym teacher? Yeah, and then you find out. I can deal. You're special. They're not gonna tell anyone. They've disaster. kept Buffy secret I mean, could I forever. Be convincing? Oh, okay. Sorry guys, I got a thing from my vet's office. No. What's this? Sitting around watching the telly while those evil still afoot. Let's find her. She's the chosen one after all. Oh my god, he wants Come to help on, just so he can beat things up. Urgh, he nasty. does look better in the black. Let's annihilate. Let's kill something. Great. Oh, come on. <laughs> so so glad to add you to the group, Spike. <laughs> Uh, I love that. Like, I think I predicted earlier in the season that he's gonna join the crew, obviously, because he can't hurt things anymore. But I love that he's actually wanting to join the crew so he can still hurt things, but just, like, uh, demons instead of, <laughs> like, uh, people, which I love. I guess, I mean, is it the best moral reason for joining the good guys? No. But does it work? Yeah. I think he has great chemistry with willow and xander in particular and so i do like seeing the characters interacting uh i think he adds a little bit of you know i, I he reminds me a very different character but he adds to the group what cordy did like that sarcasm and like kind of riffing on the good guys that i like i like that kind of character i like the dynamic in a group uh so i think 
he's very different than Cordy, but he brings that same vibe of like, you guys are idiots that I really loved whenever she would interject that kind of stuff. Um, the Riley thing, <laughs> I don't know who he thought he was fooling, uh, showing up at the abandoned high school and thinking they were not gonna know. Uh, but I'm glad nobody got mad at her, I guess, for not, like, spilling about him. I probably would have. I would have been like, Riley's one of them. Like, um, I guess we never saw if Riley actually ever, like, interacted with Spike directly other than the time in the dorm. So I guess it would make sense. Maybe he doesn't recognize him. Um... But he definitely assumed he was a person and not a vampire, which is interesting. He can't actually tell the difference uh, without all the gadgets and stuff. So I, that should tell you something, Riley, that they're not just animals if you can literally not tell the difference when you're standing in front of one. Uh, and Spike looks the most vampire of any vampire on this show with that fucking hair. <laughs> I guess the outfit wasn't, but still. Um, it's interesting. I do think... I kind of agree... With Buffy, where he, she's like, you're, you do not know the level of what this actually is. Like, you took a job, like, this is, like, her life. Uh, and they are not on that same level of experience either. Um, I get where he's coming from, though, that they have a lot in common. But, yeah, I think it is gonna be a problem. It's gonna intersect where he's trying to follow by the book, do his job, and she is trying to actually save the fucking world and it goes against his protocol, like, which side would he choose, right? Because that's going to happen if they stay friends or even dating. Uh, so, I mean, that's inevitable, right? She's going to go against his protocol. She is friends with vampires. I guess her and Spike are friends, but her and Angel are friends, exes, whatever. Like, she's not going to let him kidnap him or, like... So, I do think that's a little interesting. Like, it's obviously, I think she's seeing all the ways that it could go wrong and he's not paying attention to those at all. Maybe she's too, like, negative and he's too positive about it. I don't know. But, it you know it's not going to be smooth sailing. Like, he is, we saw how little, like, info they actually do have. Like, the government agency has a lot of tech that helps them, like, track and stuff, but they think the Slayer's a myth. They don't understand, like, motivations of demons or have the resources to figure out the correct way to kill them because there are some demons that shooting them is not going to do it, um, as we've seen. And then we know there are demons who live kind of peaceful lives from watching Angel, um, and I don't want to see those people get experimented on. So, it, it it's something that we know is going to come to a head eventually. It's just a matter of when. Hmm. Um, Giles just, like, was in this episode to get his ass kicked, I guess. I still feel like they need... He needs something. I don't know what it is. Like, a storyline or something. He just feels there right now. And, like, it's fine. I still love Giles as a character. I'm just, like... He feels underused from a, like, writer story perspective. I hope that makes sense. Um, but I still really enjoyed the episode. I liked, I like that Riley and Buffy finally know about each other because we were building up to that. But if I had to wait till the finale, I feel like it could have got kind of boring watching them just miss each other and stuff. So I'm excited to see how the story, like, changes with that. Um, and with Spike learning he can hurt demons, just not people. So, I really enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.